Hello again. It's 8.45 in the morning and we're back at Highcliffe on the Hampshire coast. We're going to walk to Mudderford and back, about five and a half miles. That's Mudderford in the distance. It's the last week of March and it's the first week that the Covid restrictions have started to lift. The car park's free until April, so that's a bonus. We'll walk down to the water and see if Edith fancies a paddle. A bit cold for me. There's no sticks around, so Edith will have to chase some pebbles. The trouble is she never finds them. They all look the same as the other pebbles. We'll walk along the beach for a bit and then make our way back up to the main path. There's plenty of dogs around for Edith to meet. Edith quite likes big dogs. Here's a big one coming. She's not so keen on that dog. The other dog doesn't think much of Edith. Oh, where did that spaniel come from? No lifeguards on duty. It's too early in the season. At this time of year, many of the beach huts are repainted and cleaned up, ready for the season. Here's some decorating going on now. Nope, Edith didn't fancy that one. She's missed those completely. Most of the beach huts are still closed up at this time of year. Here's a friend for Edith coming. She loves cockapoos and labradoodles. Just like buses, you wait for ages and three dogs come along all at once. Here's a group coming up, making the most of the sun and being able to meet up again. We're coming up to some food outlets, takeaway only at the moment because of the Covid restrictions. Getting the tables ready for the season here on the beach. This is the popular Noisy Lobster restaurant, but sadly it's closed now because of the Covid regulations until next month. Here's a pile of painted pebbles. These have been painted in support of our care workers and all the work that they've done during the Covid pandemic. They've even got their own Facebook page. We're nearly at Mudderford now. You can see how strong the current is here as the water rushes in and out of the harbour. Edith likes these little dogs. And they like her. Here we are now at Mudderford. This is a working fishing port, as well as having the most expensive beach huts in England. You can see all the fishing gear, mainly crab and lobster pots. This close-up of a pot shows how easy it is for the crabs and lobsters to get into the pot, but how difficult it is to get out again. 
Here we are now at the harbour mouth. This is Christchurch Harbour. A lovely still day now. In the distance you can see Christchurch Priory. Actually you probably can't. So if we look through a telephoto lens there's been a church on this site for 1300 years and the building that we can see now is one of the longest parish churches in the country. We'll turn around here and start heading back the way we came. Edith's seen another friend. What's this? It's a group of miniature schnauzers, just like Edith. They're all different sizes. I think Edith's the largest. Well, perhaps it's because she needs a haircut. These dogs are clever. They built a sandcastle. The queue for takeaway coffee's grown since we walked up here earlier. That's the Isle of Wight that you can see in the distance. We'll be going for a walk there later in the year, so if you don't want to miss that, please subscribe to our channel. We're nearly back at the car park now, and need this found some more new friends. I hope you've enjoyed walking with us and Edith. Edith certainly enjoyed the walk. She says woof, which means please subscribe in miniature schnauzer language. Thanks for watching.